So guys, in my opinion, there's super important things that make a character what it is. So here's a character I made. This is a adaptation I did of Supergirl. And now I'm going to take away those things and you tell me if you can guess what I think they are. So here we go. I'm going to try and snap it. Ready? If you had guessed that I took away the lighting first off, you'd be correct. I took away the cinematic lighting I had for the other character. So to break it down for you, I've got this character. Clearly, I have a pretty intense lighting situation going on. Uh, let me walk you through it and show you exactly how you should light your characters in Blender for a more cinematic and epic look to those characters. Okay, guys. So now we have one light in our scene. Uh, this is the standard classic light. I think it usually is uh, preset to have 1000 watts for your light. So whenever you add a light, you're gonna have 1000 watts and make sure the first thing you do with this light is to enable contact shadows. Just good practice to always have contact shadows enabled. You'll see it's subtle, but it makes a big difference in the long run. So we've got this light here and the first thing we need to do is to light our character. So let me show you first that if you just put the, your singular light right in front of your character, it actually doesn't look that good to have a light just straight onto the face. So I've got a very complicated character here and you'll see when I just have the light straight on the face, we're getting this odd flat look. And it doesn't matter if I back it up or if I bring it closer, uh, this problem remains. So what do we do then? Well, let's move this light literally just to the side. So we're going to do GX and we're going to move it to the side over here. And you'll see already that helps a lot with the intensity of this character. Uh, so then it's kind of up to you exactly where you want this, but I'm just doing this quick and dirty for you guys to give you the basics. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do Shift D with that light selected and we're just going to bring it back behind her. With this light, our goal is to do highlights of our character and her silhouette. So I'm first going to start with the side that is mostly shadowed uh, from this other light. So I've got this light now back here and I'm just going to do GY and I'm going to get into where I can actually see for my picture, GY. And you want to be careful not to go too far forward, otherwise you're going to get that same washed out effect. So I'm going to take it back. And you're just kind of seeing for your silhouette of your character what you think looks the best. And you can in adjust the intensity. For instance, I've got some subsurface effects going on and to me that looks a little too strong. So I'm going to down this light to about 500 watts. And that's a little bit better. And you'll see we've got some pretty nice silhouetting happening here. So I like it up here. And then one thing I do occasionally that you could also solve with just a simple uh, area light. Again, you find an area light by doing shift A, light, and then area. Uh, however, I just prefer the point lights. I'm going to have my light selected, shift D, and then Z. And then I'm just going to drag it down to continue the silhouette along this character. So right now, you'll see I just have a very faint silhouette right here and on her arm. However, if I do Shift D and Z, now we can hit some of these legs a little bit and maybe I think it would be good if we had some silhouette hitting the rest of her arm. However, I'm seeing a little too much subsurface light, so let's turn this wattage down to right around there. Okay. So now we need her legs to be silhouetted, so shift D, drag it down, right around there. And now you can also still play with this, so I'm doing GY to bring it back and forth to kind of see what I think looks nice. Perhaps right there looks pretty good. Because I'm trying not to get this shadowed area too uh, lighted, otherwise we'll get that flat effect again. 
Okay, this side's looking at least okay to me, so we're going to leave that as is. Maybe we'll get her hair up here, though. So let's do Shift-D for one of the lights, and literally we're just going to drag this light back and forth and kind of go for another uh, subtle silhouetting on that hair. And you can see it might be a little too bright bouncing off of her head. Let's lower that light to 200. Uh, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to want to put some lights on this side. So now let's do Shift D. And you'll see I'm always constantly sit, staying in um, my camera view, by the way, because for singular rendered shots in particular, if I'm just rendering a single shot, uh, it matters a lot more to, to see what it looks like when you're messing with the lights from this position. So that's why I'm doing a lot of uh, moving by the different planes and such because I really care about that. So I've got this duplicated light here and now I'm going to do G, Y and I'm going to move this light Okay, so I, I like the highlights that are going on here. And again, this side, in my opinion, should have um, more of a natural blend highlight versus this side, which I think should have a sharp highlight. So now let's see if there's any other areas. To me, this leg down here in particular looks like it could use a little bit more of a highlight. So let's do Shift D with that light we had, move it down. And I'm going to lower this from 1,000 to 500. And already we have a very nice uh, looking cinematic shot for this character. So one thing I'm noticing with my main light that's lighting up my whole character is that I think I might even want it slightly brighter than 1,000. So I'm going to try upping this to 1,200 and see what happens. And let's do render. Okay, so there's uh, the render of the shot that we you just saw me make in front of you. Uh, versus here is a render of just one light on my character. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of like, I would say, a rookie mistake that a lot of people make when they do lighting is, first off, they undervalue its importance. And second off, they have the light that they do have straight on the character because they're like, oh, well, the best thing to do is have a well-lit character. And that is not the best thing to do because if you look at real life, you are going to see a plethora of different shadows that are hitting your character in very interesting ways. Uh, like me just putting the light off to the side already creates a lot of those interesting shadows on the face with the nose here and her hair over her eye. And... If I just have that light straight on, I lose all of that interesting detail. And while you might still feel like this looks good, a lot of that is just the textures and things that we did um, that are carrying this character. Uh, something interesting you can do if you want to improve on is, first off, either just watch more of my videos. <laughs> you can literally just YouTube lighting videos. And although these aren't specifically for Blender, uh, you'll see by watching these that they just help your lighting in general. The principles apply directly from real life to Blender because it's lighting is lighting. And I hope this is helpful. Okay, you guys have a great day and thank you so much. Please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.